<laughs> okay. I want. I read the first run. Yeah. The first series, and then it started going real. I like how they were transitioning on that first run. Yeah, from the disappeared. Well. That was and, really smart. And then it started going into directions I just didn't want to get into. Like I almost picked that up the other day. We were. We were okay. I, I mean, I, I was really impressed by it. Like, they have a good storyline. Like, they're actually robots in disguise. They're right. still hiding. Um, I wouldn't mind, like, that guy doing some script work. Straight. There's a lot of great writers out there. The problem is, for a fan based situation, if you're a fan of something, you're going to have 100% expectation in a certain way. And it goes back to, and again, this is the one part of it I completely understand and can concede on is there is a certain degree you have to bend as a filmmaker in writing professional scripts. That while I can write a hundred ideas that are great underwritten concepts for the Transformers, and those guys probably could too, you're gonna lose so much of your fan base, because right. in the end, no matter how we want to pretend it is, they're in it for the green stuff. Yeah. And you need to be able to mass market that crap. I was just gonna say, you know, I was complaining about Mark Singer, but he has only like one issue with that. No, not Mark Singer, we love the Beastmaster. Uh, Brian Singer. Okay, he has like one issue with that movie. Superman. Yes, I do. Yes, the kid. Issues. Spoiler, the kid. We hate well, the kid. and when we're talking about, you can have a good movie based off of something and have absolutely nothing to do with it. Eric and I used to debate over the Starship Troopers movie. Yeah. I love the movie. Yeah. Yes. Eric read the book before he saw the movie. I saw the movie, then read the book. If I had read the book and then saw that film, I would probably been just as pissed off as I was the Transformers like, film. Yeah. And here's my thing, that's why I actually like the Transformers film, is because there is such a strong geek fan base that follows it. And that, you guys buy anything. Yeah, that, that <laughs> Michael Bay had, went back, and I will give him credit for, he did do enough stuff, and he's like, okay, well let's go ahead and get Peter Collin. Well, I'm gonna cater to that group. Put in the transformation sound. You know what I mean? The, he, he went through, and instead of just doing a full oh, redux, he found it, he put it in Don't even thing. start that, because he got Peter Cullen because all he was making was SAG wage. Peter Cullen was doing, as much as I love Peter Cullen, he was doing Eeyore. And that is it. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Peter <laughs> Cullen's like, okay, I can pick I can get my star and he is gonna be dirt cheap and I only have to pay him rent. But here's the thing, how many Booyah! How many I stars? just saved sixty million bucks. How many stars were in the movie? Oh that that, that Matrix guy John was in it. But yeah, John Boyd, yeah. John Boyd. You know he, he produced that. There were no A-listers in the whole movie. A-listers were called I am. Bernie Mac. Oh yeah, I already know. Okay. Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese. There you go. Tyrese. Tyrese. John Boyd was one of the. Okay. Tyrese. Went, okay. No. Again, this goes back to the Michael Bay mentality of mass marketing. You got Megan Fox. I was just spin it. Just spin it. Uh, Megan Fox was chicks. Swing. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> uh, Tyrese and what's the other John, chick's John husband? Turo. John. You got those two. Fergie's boyfriend, yeah. Fergie's boyfriend. We're all so in it. See, so yeah, hot guys, hot girl, Anthony Anderson. big robots, <laughs> token black guy. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> Anthony Anderson. There was, there was one other black guy, most people forget. An 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 uh, Andre uh, Anderson. Yeah, Anthony Anderson. Actually, he annoyed me in the movie. Yes. Actually, the single most annoying person in the movie. The girl. Bumblebee? No, no. Ah. One person more annoying than the girl. The Australian girl. The Australian girl was kind of annoying, but not as annoying as John Turturro. Oh, oh God! I'm Zany. <laughs> Did you see it? It's a transforming thing. You know, shut up. What do you think of the gay uniform? He was the worst character. All right, we'll jump Bay Formers here for a second because because you only have eight minutes. Yeah, he jumped into something really good here, which was: Has anybody seen anything or heard about Transformers animated yet? Oh, it looks bad. It looks like uh, crap. It looks like, Ooh. it looks like what? It looks like Zelda Teen Titans. Designed? Yes, it is. No, yes, what else do you know about it? It's animated. It's right. Yes, it's <laughs> animated. Because we've had so many live action series. Um, <laughs> Super Sentai Transformers. That's Actually, it probably is closer to Gotcha yeah. Band. Here's the problem. <laughs> if you haven't heard yet, there are a couple Decepticons in it. But that's not the key plot of the whole story. What? Wow. Yes. They are superheroes hidden on Earth to fight super villains that are written in. It's the villain of the week stuff. So it's not like, you know, Starscream didn't Buffy. exist. Oh. oh. But it's like next episode will be, you or know. Or Smallville. Or. Yeah, it's Smallville. That's what it is. <laughs> next episode will be Green some super week. genius taking over the world. But Optimus and the Autobots will stop them. It's, it's a superhero show. It's going to suck. Yeah. 
Alright, save the world two ways at a time. There is only one saving grace thus far. Giant Robo is nuclear power! The one. The guy they got the voice for Starscream sounds just like Chris Lotta. Yeah, that's actually yeah. pretty That's the only thing they have that's good Which so means we can end up with an R.G.I. Joe series. <laughs> yeah. So now it comes the Has anybody seen the toys? No. Oh, the toys are great. Wait, wait, we'll, go, we'll, go, we'll whip through toy stuff really quick, too, here. How much time we got left? Now, like I said, we only had about eight minutes. We okay. Till one. Here we go. Watch this very quickly. Number one, the toys look stupid, except... My fiance wants the Scion because she drives one. There is a Scion in it, and it transforms with a little giant electric like Kiss guitar. I mean, it's, yeah, it's scary. Number two, the only toy I've been looking for they didn't have at AFO in the dealer's room this year, and I want. Has anybody seen the new Soundwave MP3 player? Is a, it, it's in Japan only right now. It's, it comes in either white. It, it, it's either white or it's blue. It comes with both versions, and it transforms into Soundwave. And just like he said, the chest pops out, you put a mini SD card in, and it plays MP3s. Oh wait, there's more. And you can buy the earphone set separately, that they're bigger earphones that you take off and turn into Rumble and Frenzy, and all it works. <laughs> oh. Oh. Now watch, I'm gonna go from this It's super end. fast, it watch, Japanese. <laughs> watch how quickly I can turn this around. I'm gonna go from, God, that's a really effing cool toy. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Now you need to be on that side for the shitty toys. Here we go. <laughs> Nike has made shoes that turn into Optimus Prime and turn into Megatron. The oh Nike 7.0 series. And they just released the pictures of um, Starscream and, 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 wear a and, and when you transform Yes, when you transform them, they're wearing you look Nikes. at their feet, they have the Nike swoosh on their feet. Oh. But there are shoes And Tom will need one to add to his convoy collection. I have to get one, that's what sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you saw one in the dealer's room? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't buy anything. I'm not trying to robo stuff. <laughs> I don't see anything I want. Which, where was it? Which, which table had it? It's, um... Is that probably a gun? If you're show? lying, we're coming back and kicking your ass. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, yeah. You I need to go back there and buy that jet fire. So yeah. Okay, so we're going to go back and find it. NHQ has it? Has the Nike? Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Real quick, we're going to wrap up. You getting the iPhone? No, I, I don't like the iPrime. I've got the better redone Optimus Prime. I've got the best effing redone G1 Prime ever, and it carries my Pepsi everywhere in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi convoy, transform! <laughs> and you think the Japanese wouldn't sell out their characters Pepsi too? Man, Pepsi Man. Any last oh, closing thoughts before we Pepsi bail? Pepsi on those Pepsi Anything else? Quickly. Michael Bay sucks. Okay, thank you. Yes. Yes. Whoop. Um. Yes, we know. Yeah, we heard. One, one thing I like about, I have to say I like about the Michael Bay keeping his style is every time you have a black man, you have to have a 360 camera and everything exploding around.